so guys, having walked up from King's Cross Station at the bottom there, past this newly being built Google campus, we are reaching uh, an area that is the, near the coal office. So you can see the regeneration continues as we come up here to this crossing. And can anybody guess what that little bridge is gonna take us over? The coal yard should be a bit of a clue, but you're about to see anyway. Okay, sorry, my walking is not very fast. And what we have here is lots of people lounging over this canal. So a reminder that for the industrial past of King's Cross, the coal routes from the north of England were incredibly important for the industry that was located here. And so, although very pretty now, during that period of industrial decline, the canal became really quite a gross location, uh, I would say. So a real mark of regeneration that it has now become a sort of leisure space as opposed to its former industrial use. Uh, anything to add, sir? Yeah, lovely. So um, what I'll do is just kind of give you a little bit more about the history of these buildings. So what you'll notice is that the buildings that we've seen are uh, kind of much more historical. They're not the new buildings we could be used to keep the sort of things across central. So the idea here is instead of that complete knockdown and full kind of rebuilding, uh, what they've done here is they've used uh, some of the existing buildings, a bit of facadism, but actually kind of trying to keep that. Remember we talked about re-imaging, trying to keep some of that um, kind of existing feel, that like industrial feel to the area but actually uh, kind of change of use of those buildings, change of function. So what I'll do is, from what we can see, I'll just kind of run through. So the big building we've got there with the kind of rows of windows, um, that building was actually a use of grain store, as a grain store. And historically, there would have been tunnels going from the canal um, under the, well, not under, but where the pavement is now, into that building. And they, they would have been able to drop grain from big hoppers into canal boats to then distribute around. So you'll see how it used to look, and you then, have this picture in your pack, guys. So that is how this, this building used to look. And here's and how it looks now. now. And what it's actually used now is it's Central St Martins. So University Arts London are based there. So that's a complete change uh, from what it used to be. And they've come since that kind of regeneration uh, in the last few years. Um, moving along, we've got um, a building, uh, you might be able to see if we zoom in, uh, which has got a, a dark, long roof to it. Um, that's actually called Cold Drops Yard. Now that's a really interesting building where, again, it's about moving the coal this one instead of grain, and the railway would come in on a lower, um, on a higher level uh, with coal on the railway, and they would be able to open the bottom of these um, uh, carriages, is probably the wrong word, but the, the train had, and the coal would drop, uh, and then it would be distributed onto canal boats and things for, for moving further around. So again, a really big industrial uh, use. Just gonna wait for this lorry to go past, uh, So um, again, a real hit to that industrial past, but again, it's been kept. And what they've actually done is kept some of that character, uh, and we'll see in a moment, we'll go down and have a walk around. Um, but the land use there has changed. There's a lot of kind of bars and restaurants, and again, kind of unique individual shops, not many chain shops. And we'll talk a bit about that uh, as we go on. So wait for another one to go. And then moving around to the last one, um, you'll see is that kind of thin building right next to the canal. Now, um, that's the coal offices where um, the administration needs to be done of the coal distribution. Um, and again, that building is in heavy decline um, and it has now been kind of rebuilt, re-generated. Uh, um, re, uh, and it is uh, in there, you've got actually offices for King's Cross. Um, it's got, again, still used for administration, but a slightly different type of administration. Um, what's quite interesting is um, thinking about the history of this area between the industry and what it's like now. We, we really should think about that because that's why it needed regeneration. So this area, um, certainly Cold Drops Yard, there's some railway arches, uh, was actually quite a popular area for nightlife. So there are a few clubs in those railway arches um, and uh, had quite a, quite a big nightlife scene, but certainly uh, attracted some less salubrious activity as well. Lots of dark areas uh, where you can imagine maybe potential crime rates quite high and also the clubbing scene in that kind of time uh, was quite a crazy clubbing scene and not everybody felt welcome and that's something we need to think about is who feels welcome in these areas? So certainly if I was to think back to when I was uh, kind of uh, at university and slightly older than university I knew King's Cross so I came to the clubs here and uh, that's what I thought of it and actually I felt welcome but maybe if somebody who uh, was slightly older wasn't into going clubbing then actually uh, they wouldn't feel welcome in that area. 
but looking at how it's changed now, certainly, um, if I uh, was to go there now, I'd feel very welcome, but actually I'm slightly older, I'm the kind of person who might spend a little bit of money on a, on a kind of a nice takeaway or something and, and sit out by the, by the canal and, and read a book, whereas actually maybe kind of uh, 18, 19, 20 year old me, I might be a bit disappointed and not feel as welcome here. So that's something we need to think about, is who this regeneration is for, and is there anybody who's left behind? And we'll talk a little bit more about that because obviously there are people who get left behind in regeneration who matter slightly more than kind of 18 year old club goers, and we'll mention that when we look at some of the housing.